that should be better. Yeah, okay. Hit me, say something, Lauren. Let me make sure you're... Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> okay. Yep, we can hear Lauren. This is good news. Okay. This looks so cozy. I know, I really like this menu screen. The, the stacks of newspapers is maybe unsettling. I don't A know. little bit. Like, why you need those? Why aren't they in files? Yeah. <laughs> Me being the person who's like scared of roaches, I just instantly I'm like, that's just oh. gonna attract roaches. <laughs> that's a good point. Um, okay, so yeah, we're gonna continue with crimes and punishments. Um we were in the middle of a murder investigation. This man was harpooned to a wall in a garden shed. Right. Um yeah, he was a fisherman. Mm-hmm. And so far we... Lying about their gardener? Yeah. And so we had interviewed the gardener, right? Or we, like, at least talked to him. He didn't really want to talk to us. Right. Um, okay, so... We wipe the ink off of this. Do, 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 do. I did as you asked and hid them well. Interesting. How would Hurtley react to this? Okay. Right, and then this Dawson and Nelligan. Um, we spoke to one of them, I forget which one. We spoke to his son. Mm -mm. Um, yeah. So Liam Hurtley's boots match the footprints. Stole a letter. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So we have Judith Carey. She's the widow now. Yeah. Um. We have Peter Carey, our victim. John Nelligan. Um, and Liam Hurtley, um, who was apparently seen prowling around the area. So I believe they just brought him into the station, right? So we should go. Well, we've talked to him, but he doesn't want to talk to us, really. I feel and like. We thought that we confront him about his boots. Maybe now? Maybe we, we didn't know that. Yet. A letter sees from Hurley. A portion of the text was successfully recovered. Okay, yeah. So I was like, I knew we left off wanting to go talk to him about something. So we okay. just got the ink fixed on that letter um, where we could read it now. So maybe we can talk to him about something regarding that. It is it is a bit Bioshock, yeah. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. All right, pal. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. Liar. You um your boots match mm -hmm. the second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where peter carey was murdered footprints that's your proof <laughs> how many men have boots like mine that doesn't make me you didn't murderer. say you were a murderer just that you were there right <laughs> um okay the garden now that your presence at woodman's lee has been proven would you care to explain it i don't remember what would i be doing there anyway you the garden 
Do we do well kept garden or gardener? We know what? he's a gardener. Yeah. And we know there's a well kept garden there. And they kind of go together, but like, I don't. Right. Why aren't they together? Right. I don't know why it's two separate things. Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. Ah, not. How did you. I observed your hands. Aha. They told me that you worked nice. with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. You gotta, the most gotta right brush off those mowing shavings. The bird embroidered on your handkerchief. <laughs> a crested tip, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, all right. right. He has right. the you same bird as the yes. lady, as the widow does. I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. What did you hide? So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Artists. What are you talking about? Um. Uh. The tobacco pouch, maybe? Where did we find the tobacco pouch? It was just sitting there, wasn't it? Yeah. What's in the letter? Oh, the letter that we just uncovered. Yeah. Where he was like, I did what you wanted, or... Okay, let's try that. I did as you asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good shot. Well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. Uh, uh, well, chemistry, huh? it's clearly not. Well, you're a smart one, but it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that. Why did you cover it up then? <laughs> yeah. That's all for now. Hurtley's and we'll put tits are false in the leads. chat. Yeah. <laughs> Preston tits. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. Okay. okay. Uh, I guess I can get this all right i guess let's uh well let's can we just leave from here reading crime and punishment <laughs> i didn't notice that all right where are they kept oh is it that shut up by her I wonder if we can also confront her about lying. Perhaps. Let's talk to her really quick just to see what, if there's anything new. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open. Oh, I thank you. Thank you, madam. Also, you're a liar. <laughs> Why can we not confront him? I'm sure we will. Oh. Let's see. I don't like it in there. Why are tools why are tools so scary? <laughs> I don't know. Why is just a tool hanging on the wall just instantly like, no thank you? They're blades, like their weapons, but for the ground. Huh. What? Nothing. There's gotta be some... Don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand my like superhero vision. Oop. Oh. Floor. Wooden planks. Ill fitting plank. I looked up, but I didn't look down. Mm. Oh, is this the missing box? Oh, oh. From that shelf. Yeah. That looks like a puzzle. Let us see what is in this box. Rotate the lock cylinders to form a complete line. 
Ooh, that some lines are deceptive. Okay, rotate all, rotate and switch. Okay. Interesting. Fine. Oh gosh. So the green... I oh, know, this is the bottom layer. No, that's not what I want. So along that lines up with that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Wasn't as complicated as I thought it was gonna be. A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. Oh shit. That is interesting. We could have guessed that. <laughs> yeah. Liam, my dear, you've been so good to me all the time that I have known you. I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose they are sinful and no good can come from them. I fear what might happen. I fear going against God. I thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have been bound by God. It is his divine will, and thus my husband is the cross that I must bear. <laughs> Love that for him. <laughs> he makes my life a living hell, but bruises fade, and you must not worry for me. Oh, God. This is just awful for everybody involved. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so that's him talking about the letters, presumably. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, all right. Cool. Let's ask her about that. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. <laughs> Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? I mean, if somebody brings it up, clearly they know. Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. I know, the way they're like, what? No, what? Who, me? What? I never. <laughs> Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I, I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him, not after... What happened? Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... After what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No. I Son of... No, I do not. Do no, leave me alone, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find oh, any sailors. <laughs> Okay. Leave her in tears. Right, like Keep she's just gonna be like that for who knows how long. Um What is his role in all that? Maybe Wiggins has found some crew members already worth to check it. Yeah, I guess let's um check in with him. Also, I suppose. Mr. Rose, oh, we hold found on. the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. New patterns. Our harpooner. Okay, suspicious. No. Oh, he died a week ago. This man is a harpooner, and his initials are P C. The same initials. Oh as are shit! Found on the ba -ba 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 okay. Highly Wait, suspicious. Could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairn. <laughs> okay. Thanks <laughs> for not uh, making us wait for that. <laughs> Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch Pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. 
<laughs> Can you imagine? Thank you, <laughs> How do you make money? Well, I go to this pub and I arm wrestle people. <laughs> it, it's like those, um, have you seen the like slapping competitions? The professional what? <laughs> slapping competitions? It's like, it's like arm wrestling, but they just slap the absolute shit out of each other. It's just one like open handed slap. That's so stupid. How it's wild. <laughs> I don't know how they like. I mean, sometimes somebody just gets like completely decked. It's it's yeah. crazy. Got a bunch. I mean. Uh, that would, yeah, those two. What? Uh, no. Interesting. Okay. All right. Hmm. Wait, go back. Well, yeah, it's prompting me to. Patrick Cairns and Peter Carey. Because it's di a different PC. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. The pouch belongs to Patrick Cairns. It indicates his presence at the crime scene, but it must still be proven. Of course. If I wish to speak to Cairns without okay. alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Yes. Huh? We get to be a sailor. I love a costume. Oh, nope. Where was, oh, this one. Yes. Look how cute we are. Do we need to do any makeup maybe? I would say wear some. Yeah, let's definitely have. <laughs> I feel like that's very sailory. Oh, yeah. All right. Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Okay, so he's gonna be at the pub. I want to go to a pub called the Sea Witch. I know that sounds cool. I would I would love. Oh. Yeah, this is a vibe. I would love a pub that's like Trader Sam's, but like nautical, like yeah. Oprah Din. <gasps> it's like all out. Oh my god! Like it? Oh, like the same concept for when you order something they. Yeah, that would be so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, make it happen, Hannah. <laughs> Do we know what this man looks like? Is anybody arm wrestling? An arm wrestle. Oh, there he is. Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? Ooh. We've heard all about the gambling and arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. Oh shit, are we gonna arm wrestle? Oh, oh god, okay. Follow his facial expressions to understand his moves. Push, restrain, or idle. And plan your counter strategy. I don't know how to... <laughs> oh god, okay. What the... Uh, press to push, hold to restrain. And he's pushing, so restrain. I mean, put, I don't know, 
down now. Do I need to like... Oh, okay. I have to continually push it. I think he's like, what, not gonna respect us if we lose or something? I don't super know what I'm doing here. Okay, he's gonna work. I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess just hold him in place? Is that what they mean by that? Like stop actively pushing, but just sort of... Uh, I guess we'll do one more time I'm ready to try again fine okay. if you want me to take all your money no problem with that also apparently I can just skip I'll try one more time but apparently we can just skip Oh shit. I don't understand. Cause I'm trying to like push when he seems like he's really pushing. Maybe that's when you just restrain him from pushing, and then when he, like, gets up pushing, you push. Nope. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's the arm that killed a hundred whales. Care to lose another ten shillings? Um, sure. I and I'm, I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. <laughs> okay. You were lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. Huh. So I have to beat him multiple times. I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all you All right.
Does it deplete your stamina to restrain him too? Mm, no. I'm pushing, okay, and he's struggling, so I restrain, and then he's not struggling, so I push. And then he's straining. I just don't, I don't know. <laughs> to buy you a drink okay there we go winner as well that's good let's have a drink you're good time. that's an intense See swallow you <laughs> no. you've got money hey eh? not all that much oh well at least you're not as poor as me Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So as a result, I find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Now, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. The old wallers. Damn Black Peter, Great Roger, we sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Uh, Black Peter? Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar, and violent too. Swinging those fists of his around. Tyrants, and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes, I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn. And I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening... We saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. The uh, crew must have thought that she'd foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man oh, on board. Mm. And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage just a tin box that's strange enough oh even stranger was that on the second night he disappeared nobody knew what happened to why him. did it zoom in of course <laughs> nobody could ask black peter about drama it. I don't know. were we supposed to notice something there <laughs> you know what happened don't you i do i saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle oh. of the watch on that dark night two days before we sighted the Shetland lights Black Peter's a murderer oh I, shit I don't know you wouldn't be surprised to hear it but all this must stay between us alright of course sure yeah uh okay Oh, nice, yeah. Oh, 
Nothing about his thick ass beard. I know. This is quite a beard. <laughs> Cheap clothes. Okay. Got a tat. There was something else on his other arm. Ooh, okay. Yellow nails. Hmm. Ugh. Be back in a second. Oh, you might have to be I'll be here with my Carsy. I haven't heard that one before. Plant the pot. Determine if it's his. Yoink. Gently, gently. Oh, here it is. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yes, that was a lovely trip to the bathroom. <laughs> Have you got any tobacco? I've run out of mine. I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? <laughs> well, oh. oh, it is. <laughs> Just snatch it back. It's evidence. <laughs> well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab is his name. Oh. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I wouldn't I recommend it. <laughs> if you like, I. <laughs> I'm done here. It's time to leave. Maybe skip that one. I really like this place aside from the like clouds of gnats. Right. Or yeah. 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 Don't know. All right. Well. We know it's his pouch now. Yeah. So. What's his yellow? Oh, heavy smoker. Okay. Is there a way we can, we can talk to his son? Or is, right. what's his name? Is it John? Yeah. John, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess let's talk to him. Okay. We also might need to deduct something and put something together. Oh, true. Let's see. There had been a tin box in the cabin, not much larger than a book. Peter Carey had forbidden anyone from touching it. There's a... There's Patrick Cairns and Patrick Cairns' pouch. <laughs> Stated that the tobacco pouch belonged to him, which proves that he was at the scene of the murder. Maybe the break-in attempt? But we think that that was John trying to get in you could probably put the confessions and the together He loved you to carry so desperately that his jealousy could have provoked him into committing murder. 
Ooh. William Hurtley's relationship with Judith Carey gives him a motive for killing Peter Carey. True. Okay, yeah, we think that's his feat of strength. Um, is there anything else? I don't know that we can connect. What happens when you do Peter Karen's pouch with Peter Karen? Oh, okay, it does come. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Cairns has confirmed that the pouch belongs to him. This means that he was at the scene of the murder and thus proves his guilt. He was at the scene of the murder, but does not necessarily prove right. I yeah, obviously. Okay. Let's go talk to John. Yeah, oh, there he is. I didn't see him. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. What am I doing here? Interesting. I've done nothing wrong. Oh, so we, unless we have something to talk I'm to them about, I'm not saying another word. Oh, there's somebody else back there. Who's that? Maybe he's just another dude. Uh, just a it random. seems like for. They're just at the scene of the crime, which is why they're here. We should probably arrest the bar dude, but... These are the suspect's belongings. A handkerchief with the initials J.H.M. Right, okay. I wonder if these are connected. Yeah. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. Breaking attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in a pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Nelligan was looking for his father's papers inside Black Peter's cabin. He, it explains his presence at the scene of the murder. Yeah. Just because these people are there does not mean they're guilty. Right. Um, I don't know that... Oh, I guess we can put those two guys here. We confirmed that Liam Hurtley was flirting with Peter Carey's wife and even fell in love, but it didn't go beyond the affectionate but harmless letters and words. What do you mean? Liam Hurtley loved you to Carey so desperately that his jealousy could have provoked him into committing murder. I mean, I feel like it's... Yeah, it could. Right, potentially. relationship with Judith Carey gives him a motive. True. Hartley's presence at Woodman's Lee on the night of the murder is explained by his affection toward Judith Carey and the fact that he worked there as a gardener. I mean, both of those are true. Both of those are true. I don't know. I don't want to choose either one of those right now. Oh, wow, okay. Valuable bond certificates were kept inside the stolen tin box. Okay. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. A victim of circumstance, he does not fit the portrait of the murderer either by physical or psychological description. I mean, I feel like it's this. He's 19. And he throw a harpoon. Through that man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as there are only two suspects, are we supposed to, like, think that it's straight up him at this point? Or are we still giving him the benefit of the doubt? 
I don't know. What does it say in our book? Huh. Not a normal thief. What is his role in all that? I feel like we've cleared that up. It makes us do it. Yeah. I mean, at this point, he's our best suspect. Yeah. It is a motive, but it doesn't mean he did it. Right. She thinks he did it. And this doesn't mean innocence either. Right. Ugh. <laughs> Right. Yeah, but it still wants. Why are you still telling me? What? You want? We did that. Is there anything we haven't done? Please proceed to the deduction space. I mean, that's what we've... Can you, like, move it around any? Like, away from me? No. We did all the things, though. I don't... You think it would tell us we were wrong if we... Yeah, she straight up says he was their gar- he was not their gardener. Yeah. So I feel like we picked the right one. I don't We picked all the thing. I don't know. I'm a little confused. What if we go back to Baker Street? Can we like talk to Watson about anything? Keeps telling me to do B. You met Patrick Kens, the harpooner. Do you believe he's the murderer? Okay. What? Is there any point? My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. This is where I keep my post. My archive. I can always consult with it if yeah. needed. Huh, it's got to be something here. But I don't get it. Maybe it wants you to give them both motive? Red color highlights logical conflicts between deductions. They can be resolved by switching to alternative deductions. Right. So they were all blue. So they were all right. They all agreed with each other, at least. Right. For help. <laughs> Draw a clear picture of the crime by forming your deductions from the combination of clues. Track down the guilty party. We did that. Maybe... I just don't like the P word. It didn't prove his guilt. Come on. Right, it doesn't prove his guilt. 
And then if we select this... It doesn't like that. It doesn't like that. Oh. oh. But... Uh, uh. Wait, okay. The breaking attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in a pool. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. But what if we say they're both innocent? Think them. Okay, let's. Mm -mm. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> let's just see what the other little node says. Yeah. Oops. What does this say? Both Nelligan and Hurtley are lying, therefore they might be working together. What? Okay, whatever. Possible conspiracy. Yeah. I don't like it. Two murderers. Call the case by accusing those who are guilty and seal their fate. Oh, wait, but what? <laughs> John Hoffley Nelligan and Liam Hurtley conspired together to murder Peter Carey. Nelligan's motive was revenge for Carrie's theft. Hurley's motive was jealousy and his love for Carrie's wife. Liam Hurley and John Nelligan are guilty of a heinous premeditated crime. Let them be punished by the law. Nelligan was the initiator and Hurley his accomplice. Hurley was the initi initiator. Poor Nelligan just following his lead. What if we do this? Oh. like it i don't i just don't feel like there was enough evidence to come to this conclusion at all but neither one of them will talk to us anymore right it really seems like this is what the game wants us to do i don't I like don't... that this is still here Seems not to be a usual thief. What is his role in all that? Approximately 19, raised in wealth, fell into poverty. He's physically weak. Do we need to, okay, let's, um, I want to talk to everybody one last time. Okay. Let's go talk to her first. Let's see if there's anything else. And then we can't go back to the pub where what's his face is. So I think that's like done. Ma'am? You still crying? Yep. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. Right, okay. Nothing else here of note. The game's been pretty good about like prompting me and letting me know when we've missed something and when we can like move on. Yeah. So like I don't think we've missed any straight up evidence. But also I feel like we came to a conclusion that is kind of very presumptuous. <laughs> okay. 
I looked at that because I was like, ain't no fucking way. This is how it works. I'm just not. We both are just like, no. I'm <laughs> just not satisfied. Okay. All right. <laughs> So we just, so we still have to pick one of these, though. I mean, I'm leaning towards this one. Don't think you have to. Um, do not confirm it. Choose to continue the investigation. Okay. And then if you connect other things, you can get to... Uh, conclusion that Karen was guilty which I feel way better about than either of them yeah I also feel way better about that okay what connect what though stolen valuable papers there's no choice there I feel like if we say he's a victim of circumstance and we say yeah like har he's harmless with the innocent what if we say this go to the, go to the pouch because we're saying, so that we prove guilt as opposed to. Because he doesn't have any other reason for being at the scene. Right. Right. Because the, both of the other two have reasons to be there, but this guy has no reason to be there. And then he left his pouch there. Yeah. And he's a harpooner. There we go. Yeah, this feels better. I like this a lot more. Pack of pouch was found inside Carrie's cabin. He's found guilty of the murder and must be punished. Uh, ooh. ooh. I mean, this guy, that guy sounded like he was a total asshole and like beat his wife and was a straight yeah. up murderer. He would go there to drink. Yeah, let's yeah. do this one. Yes. Wow, we hold so much power. I know. <laughs> I'm glad we refused to accept it, though, because we were just, like, not having it. We were like, I don't think this is right. No. <laughs> Who would be sending this 19-year-old off? Like, uh -uh. As, like, a murderous mastermind. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Good afternoon. I must be at the wrong address. I'd like to speak with a ship's captain. A Captain Ahab. Is that you? No. My name is... Does it look Charles like Jones. me? Detective fella. So, you wanted to see me? That is correct. We need to talk. About what? About Black Peter, who was killed in his own hut with a harpoon. You know. His own harpoon. Don't you? Yes. That's another thing. It wasn't premeditated because it was his own harpoon. Pouch. Right. He didn't breathe. <laughs> he wasn't like strolling through town with a harpoon. <laughs> like, I'm going to stab this man. It was you. Unbelievable. Well, fine. I confess. But if you really do know everything, you should also know that I didn't want to kill him. He made me do it. I know. Did you know about this story with the bond certificates? Did you need money? Yeah. I just wanted him to cop up a little silver. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help me. Well, he refused outright, and he insulted me. I reminded him I knew all about that murder he committed at sea in 1883. Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. You know the truth. What will you do now? I mean, you I still you murder someone. The bond certificates. Keep yeah. some of them. You will need them in your exile. Oh, well, he's it just not going to turn them in. the country for a few years. And you won't say anything to the police. I will not say anything as long as you return the money. Well, I 
do as you ask. But what about Inspector Lestrade? I will deal with him. Goodbye. Oh, oh so my. we're in the jury now too, huh? Yeah. It's good that you asked me to come, Mr. Holmes. We do need to talk. About what? What do you mean? Our case, Mr. Holmes. L you sent me a message. You just let this man go. Thug. His name is Wiggins, Inspector. Telling me that the case is solved. Well, Mr. Holmes, tell me, who is our murderer and where is he? The morgue. Hey. His name is, or rather was. Oh, uh, he's Thomas pinning Mark. it on the other dude. He was also on the ship with Peter Carey, uh, and he was a harpooner. I'll tell you everything, Inspector, but do calm what down. What if this? What if that man has a family? <laughs> Who's just like, oh yeah, he was a murderer, by the way. Yeah. Just like, I mean, I I don't necessarily think that that dude deserved to go to prison, but like, also. <laughs> Also said that you were waiting for me here. Yeah, I came as being real loosey goosey. I cannot thank you enough. It is all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. Oh. I believe that this belongs to you. My father's securities. Incredible. But how did you get them? It would take far too long. To <laughs> Don't ask me, questions. Just take it. You are a genius. Then uh -huh. that oh, may yes, serve thank as you. an explanation. Goodbye, Mr. Nelligan, and. Good luck. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes, and thank you. A thousand times. Don't mind thank my you. creepy ass sketches. Yeah. Hold to check your inclusion may spoil game experience. Ah, okay, so it tells you. Ah, look at us. Like, you're right. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I liked this. Yeah. God, see, yeah. I would want to know before we finish. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sympathizing. Interesting. This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Hmm. As your friend and your <laughs> doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerable. I mean, certainly it sounds <laughs> delightful. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee Bees. Lover. Do you Ooh. mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. Mycroft. <laughs> Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. We met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We are about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. Need? Help? Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men, 
He is talking about the Merry Men, oh, Mary. a band of idealistic <laughs> terrorists. Sherlock, do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not the country. Although, if your waistline expands very much further... Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Dr. Watson, the train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do, please, at least write to me on your return. Okay. Watson, I'll hold the cab for us. We leave in five minutes for the station. Oh, a week. Okay. Oh, but are we gonna meet the bee man? What do I? What a gloomy <laughs> night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. Since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention, the train is arriving at the station. Please stand well away from the platform edge. I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. But, Holmes, the headlight, this is a it's spooky. faded away. Something I is like wrong. it. I'm I can't hear it. any sound from the incoming train. Excuse me, sir. Can you explain what has happened? I, I don't know. It, it's as if the train vanished into thin air. Holmes, oh, it went into the dark side. <laughs> Quick, fetch a lantern and let us take a look. Ooh, the way he, like, sauntered. Yeah. It's too dark. Got Only that fog and rain, <laughs> nothing else. Uh, there is He's no nothing if not a cocky bastard. <laughs> we will come back tomorrow. Are we gonna play as Watson? Oh heck yeah! Or is it just because Watson's with us? Well, here we are again at the Eastern nope. Station. Okay. We have a full day ahead. Let us begin our investigation. I do like that he's here, though. Yeah. Um, I guess let's go... Okay, that's the cab. First of all, let us examine the area where the train disappeared. All right, so off this way, huh? F. Imagination talent helps you visualize objects and events useful in limited situations. Imagine this is the place where we <laughs> saw the train vanish last night. Railway sleepers. Nothing unusual. What's that on the ground? A discarded item. Possibly thrown from the train. Okay. A discarded item. Possibly thrown from the train. There are no tracks or footprints on the ground. Oh. I don't really think there's anything in... I don't see anything else. Oop. The rails oh, have not rail. been touched. There's nothing unusual here. 
Okay. There are no signs to indicate that the train ran off the track, nor are there any other traces. There is nothing whatsoever. There are no clues, but then a negative result is also a result. Oh, I see what so you're about getting it. at. No clues and you're smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. This mystery appears very promising. This investigation won't be simple. We shall require a map of the region. Perhaps the station master could lend us one. Well, let's go ask. Have you seen that uh, picture? I I don't know if it's true or not, but there's like it's like a thousand Amish people picked up a barn and moved it to its new location. Maybe that's what happened. Oh shit! Like five hundred people just came around this train and just picked it up and carried it away. That's <laughs> that would be wild. <laughs> if that's actually what happened, I'd be like, well, all right then. Good morning. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Yes, I remember you. I'm Station Master Everett. You were here last night. So, you were Mr. Holmes, the great detective. Will you be investigating what happened? I shall indeed. It is extraordinary that an entire train could disappear like that. And to think of all the poor people inside it, the passengers, the driver. Well, that's if you think that. I mean... <laughs> right, like, we don't necessarily... I mean, something weird is definitely happening, but... Somewhere between the wedding ring and the gray hair. Oh. Could you please give us any details about the train? Well, there was nothing so very special about it. At least not that I can recall. My memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> However, if you need it, you can have the train composition report. It's inside my office. He seems shady, right? He's definitely, like, if this was, if we were playing L.A. Noire right now, which is, that game is, like, you have to read people's faces and like interview them interrogate them to determine if they're lying and like what they're lying about and then like the way his eyes are so shifty i'd be like this man is a liar <laughs> i would be yeah. glad to have a detailed map of the local railway district we should cover that of one course, on the please someday. take the one that's we should like, the way to the yeah it's really long it See is later, my good man. i think we could get away with only covering the murder investigative section Okay. I, I think it's the most compelling section of the game because you start as like a beat cop and then you become a homicide detective uh -huh. and then you end up um, in like the arson department. Um, and I really felt anticlimactic to me because after after you like do the whole murder investigation, I was like way more interested in that. And then when we hit the arson mystery, I was like, I don't care about it. <laughs> it's like, I just want to solve more murders. Yeah. Okay. Can we go in here now? Yes. Is there anything to find in here? Mm. 
anything in these like laundry bags. Nothing yet at the moment. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Watson. <laughs> it's on the move. Um, well, let's talk to these guys out here. Oh. I guess are we not? Um. They're they're not part of the story, I guess. Okay, so we have to stay here. All right. Let's. Excuse me. Move it. Watson. Watson. Get out of here. Okay, this is like Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim <laughs> follower. We're just always in your way. Uh, okay, we've got the ticket office here. There was something there. Office table. So weird, because that didn't light up when you did your little superpower. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I think it's meant to be like, um, like for hidden things or when he's using his like special senses to notice stuff. But mm. Mr. Robinson is located at Bridlington Station. I think we should meet this Mr. Robinson. I agree. Uh, coal car, first class, postal wagon, special wagon. Here is the train set. Okay. Anything else there? Telegraph. telegraph. Te like. Okay. A telegraph. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> Noted. Got it. All right. Is there any super secrets? Usually it prompts me to use this. Oh, okay. Or at least it did in the first case. It's one of those things like, I don't know if that case was meant to be like easier. Oh. Uh, and more of like a tutorial, you know? Can you talk to the guy in the carriage? Maybe. I will definitely go talk to him. Or try to. An old locomotive bell. Uh-huh. This part is probably from a locomotive. Well, yes. <laughs> okay. You know, that makes sense. Area for the station. Okay. This part is probably from a locomotive. Okay. All right. So this is just nothing. Big old nothing burger in there. Watson, this was fun at first. <laughs> we were so happy you were here, and then. And then. Can we go this way at all? No. Okay. It was like, absolutely not. So, do we think that there's anything in there? No. Are we the whole train just disappeared? It's unbelievable. Thanks for that input. That's so helpful. <laughs> Wait. The ticket office is for the door. Okay, I was making sure it wasn't that like mail thing or whatever. Huh. Okay. Finish chains, falling composition. All right, well, our only lead so far is Mr. Robinson, so I guess locate a map of the surrounding area be useful for the investigation. There was one. one in the 
on a wall somewhere, maybe? Um, I'm gonna run to the potty really quick. Okay. See if I can find us a map. Oop, here. Hello. That seems like a map to me. Okay, maybe in here. I don't see anything on the walls. The map might not be. Can we ask him anything else? Oh, special wagon. According to the train composition report, there was a special wagon. What does that entail? That's a highly secure car, ordered by a private party. Uh, it is generally to carry something of value. Uh, those wagons have iron walls, you know, without any windows. Uh, and they're fitted with a complex key lock. Mm. That is important information. Do you know what was inside this particular wagon? Certainly not. No, that's private. And it's not my responsibility to allot the wagons to whoever. See you later, my good man. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so we have a new goal, which is find out what was in the car. Alright, this is the laundry or mail or whatever. Is there a map in here? I feel like there should be. Ah! This map will be useful. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very Nancy of us. Common map of this railway district that was found at Everson Station. Okay. So, can we go anywhere new now? Coming back. Hello. Found a map. Uh, and I, wait, I asked the train station guy it, about the special car that Mr. Robinson ordered. And he was like, yeah, it's a private car. Like, um, it happens sometimes. Like, pe private people do that. Um, and we asked him if he knew what was in it. And he was like, no, I have no idea. It's not my business. Yeah. Um, and then we found this on the wall and took it out of the frame. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I don't understand is like. I thought we would be able to like go somewhere using it, but. Find out what the special wagon was carrying. And I feel like it's between the postal wagon and the second class car. And he's looking at Bridlington Station. But we can't go there. Interesting. Okay, there must be something else here what if we get in the cab okay it's just like move around got it okay got it okay just let me I'm just, I'm just trying to turn around <laughs> okay so maybe now that we know something else can we look in this no i feel like this room holds secrets i don't know <laughs> why i just feel like we didn't find it 
Right. It's just like nothing is in there. And there was nothing else over here. Um, what was the button? Imagination. Which characters? What? Wait, what? There was a button for switch characters. Yeah, what was it? Q. I cannot do that. Okay. But I bet you were gonna play as Watson in that show. Yeah. So what is the point of this? Maybe do that at the station? Okay, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it just poofs into nothing. Yeah. Like, I'm wondering if we're supposed to imagine what was in the extra car. You really can't look at that, like, area of it over here. Uh, this extra area? Yeah. I just don't think there's any way to... to get in there. Get in there, yeah. I'm kind of lost. What are we? We're just missing something. Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? You're not helpful. <laughs> Ah, okay. Thank you, Kendall. <laughs> what did he say? He said there's a... He brought me dinner. Oh. 
and it's um we're having like sushi bowls tonight but we're trying out a new kind of like pre-pressed tofu from the grocery store oh. and Kendall said he really didn't like it okay let me give it a hmm there's kind of a funk to it interesting yeah I don't know how I, I feel kind of like meh about it it's not good it's not bad uh, and we definitely cannot leave. We need to, uh, because uh, now that we have gotten, we need to talk to the guy again. The train, the train guy. Yeah. Oh, I guess just now since I got the map? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. I was like, I just talked to him. Passengers of the train. Was there anything exceptional about any of the passengers aboard the train? What do you mean? Like officials? So I wouldn't know. Oh, oh, but now that you mention it, yes, there was something. There was a message from Bridlington Station saying that the train had been delayed because of an issue with the passengers. But what kind of problem that they didn't say? That is interesting. Bridlington Station. You mentioned a problem at Bridlington Station. I should like to visit this station. Could you mark it on the local map? Of course. It's a suburban railway station. You might take a cab there. We just so happen See to you have later, one. My good man. Lovely. We never would have had the idea to take a cab. <laughs> Perfect. I like the idea that Sherlock's a genius, but he's like the only way to get there must be to run <laughs> okay hello sir or are you you're just uh, you're just a person okay, okay. Uh, is this something creepy no In we go. Hello, angry passenger. Angry. This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No respect for the customer. That's it. Okay, let's look at this man. Oh, sh <clears throat> Work. Close. Cheap ticket. He's married. Rough skin is what I think that says. Let's see. Show me that face. Oh, that was down there. Was it? In his yep. hand? Ah. What happened? Please calm down, sir. <laughs> what is your concern? Concern? What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Last night, I were on the train, as usual, with my colleague, heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector, who started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train, and he was extremely rude about it. Well, he might have saved your life. Yeah. We, we don't know for sure. Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes. I heard that it disappeared. But I don't care because we would have stopped before then anyway. Our tickets were valid and no doubt about it. And then, okay, to bro. top it all, 
The ticket inspector pushed everyone else out too, except for a bunch of rich. Well, because their type don't need a ticket. A bunch of rich. <laughs> Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes. They were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. Goodbye, sir. Interesting. That is interesting. You. Oh, hello. A rich Good day indeed. To you, sir. Good day. To whom am I speaking? My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is... Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. We are not from the railway company. We are... Well, in that case, Mr. Uh, Shamrock Flomes, please excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat at the moment. Is he Australian? Oh, that sounds like it. Expensive clothes that don't fit. <laughs> Belly hanging out. You must be Mr. Robinson, is that correct? Yes. I am leading the investigation of the disappearing train. It would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, well, all right. I have nothing to hide. Knock on John Goodman. Oh, I can see it. He really is. I definitely see it. I presume it was you who placed the Australian order for the special wagon. <laughs> yes, it was to transport my valuable prototype safely to London. My prototype is a revolutionary device. It is capable of producing electricity. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention, but I was very optimistic about the director's board who were traveling on the train last night. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcazas Company. I had made an appointment with them. Now they are lost, along with the train and my prototype. What do you know about the Barcazis Company? It's a large South American company. They showed a great deal of interest in my prototype, and they seemed wealthy enough to do business with. Ah. Uh. Hmm. This revolutionary machine of yours, was it very valuable? I mean, but yeah, it sounds like that's the whole sir, point. Cool. It is priceless. It could change the world we live in. And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a humanitarian. Oh, you sir. seem like it. I do not know sure. if I will ever be able to get over this disaster. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damn train. Well, it didn't disappear. Like, it's right. somewhere. <laughs> Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you traveling alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received the telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So yes, of course, I agreed to see him. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. I thought perhaps he might have been delayed. So I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train left the station without me. Absolutely unacceptable. The timetable is strict. We cannot wait any longer. The regulations require the train to be on time. You are an idiot. <laughs> you will pay for it. I will sue you. Doing his job. The ticket inspector <clears throat> I'm a humanitarian. The train, except yeah. for the directors of the Barcazas Chilean Company. All right. Hmm. 
Well, not... <laughs> right, so that's not true. Yeah. To land, stay on the train was just a coincidence. The train conductor overlooked them. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Uh, no traces. Okay, yeah, no, I don't think that connects yet. Okay. Hello? There he is. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am investigating the unfortunate disappearance of last night's train. I see. Uh, I'm Station Master Bertram, but my supervisor has not informed me about this. I do not know if... Uh, do not worry. I have only a few questions. Station Master Everett from Evesham told us that you reported a problem with some passengers last night. Indeed. This train is a regular line for those who work at Nottingham. But yesterday, everyone was asked to get off the train here at my station. I've no idea why, and it delayed the train. But the worst of it is that now I have to deal with two furious passengers who are complaining about the company's service. They stayed here the whole night, but people do not usually pay much attention to the regulations, you see. There are very strict and clear rules. Paragraph 234 of Article 2G-43 states that in the event of a complaint, you must... Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> I understand. Oh, okay. He's a youngin. Clean clothes. Oh. Ink smudges. Apart from the passengers disembarking, did you notice anything else that was unusual last night? I did, and I mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the matter. What was it? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. Well... Confidential, you say? How long have you been working Yeah, here? I mean... I've worked here long enough to be uh, quite I know, capable we're of like managing a railway station. Investigating, though. Um... Let me speak frankly, Mr. Bertram. Your age and your lack of confidence in your position are quite apparent. You cannot deny that you have only recently completed your studies. I was at the top of my class. Listen here, young man. I am aware that you wish to protect yourself behind all these regulations, but I represent the law. And you are obstructing sort of. the investigation of an important case. <laughs> I would suggest that you cooperate with Mr. Holmes. Think of your career. Ah, that is... Well, I'll tell you everything. First of all, I scolded the ticket inspector, for it was he who asked the passengers to leave the train. It was not his right to do so. He was very rude. And then, I would hazard a guess on, that he's not actually an employee of the rail system. From my colleague at Chesterfield Station, the next stop along the line. Okay. What did the telegram say? Well, that was the peculiar thing. It was almost unreadable. Mm. It was full of errors and awfully vague. It was hard to A understand code. if the train had correctly passed that station or not. You can read it for yourself. We ought to visit Chesterfield Station. We need to confirm if the station master saw the train or not. Huh. Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay. The insurance policy for Robinson's machine. A significant sum. The policy? 
Fifteen thousand pounds. That is a lot of money. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So we need to go to Chesterfield. What else is in That's here? Okay. Why does he make us look at the telegraph, but not... But it's, like, not anything. A thing, yeah. According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, Are you committing hey. fraud, oh. bruh? You, sh you must find? know. Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message. Which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Upon I mean, this is special circumstances. You keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. This guy's a dick, though. I probably would. Yeah. <laughs> I see that you kept your grip sack with you. Why don't you leave it in the luggage room? I've had other things to think about. I lost my prototype. And this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. Station master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. Oink! <laughs> I'll do it right away, sir. <laughs> Sorry, sir. We're gonna go through it. Okay. This Robinson is quite a character. We should learn more about him. Um, yes, I agree. We should. Bye. Also, grip sack is a real term. That is... Ooh. I don't yep. like that. Dirty. <laughs> it's just like, what? it didn't... Nobody needed that. Ooh. Railway post bags. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do we got? This grip sack belongs to Mr. Robinson. You yeah, made him. We should open it, Holmes. This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. <laughs> of course. That's cool that he's immediately like, I'll help you. Yeah, let's break into it. Um, okay, we got another one of these. She likes to lay her head down on my computer and fuck it all up. I was like, that seems right. Look, Watson, a bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. Mm -hmm. We should study them carefully. Indubitably. Okay. Um, exclusive sales contract regarding the prototype invention dedicated to plants. Emitson Electric Company is the buyer. Robinson's the seller. As is. I know. So is he selling like bunk versions of it? That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Uh oh. There's a bunch of people. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Do we? Oh, I see, I see. An exclusive uh. sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. We're not going to underline as is. Yes, 
yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yeah. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Avery's here. Well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson hello, hello. received hey, free hey. payments from various people for his machine. Also, this is Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. We're solving a ghost train mystery. Yeah. Um, prototype has insurance and many customers. No, it would be the Loss of the prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Mr. Robinson, thanks to the insurance and multiple fraudulent exclusive contracts. Yeah. Indeed. Claim it over again. Um, special bargain, Chesterfield. Arrival and departure of the vanished train. Oh, I just looked at the place it was last seen. Okay, I was like, we definitely have somebody saying they saw it. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it for now. Uh, Avery, I can totally handle it. This is not... The spook factor is low so far. It is also, pretty minimal. Also, what are you trying to say? I'm a bitch? Come on now. <laughs> Just kidding, I know I am. Oh, okay. Doesn't want me going over there. What are you doing, Watson? Can you go in here? No. What do we got? Furnace. Any anything? Literally anything? Nothing? Okay. Luggage. Everybody's in there. Can we go in this little building? No. <laughs> um. Alright, I guess let's go to Chesterfield. This bin is full of empty bottles. Like the one that was discarded? Oh, that's right. A fishing advertisement. Advertisement. Love that. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I thought that man was dead for a second. The way he's like draped. Uh. I was like, oh shit. Could he fall asleep at work like this? What do you mean, how? Excuse me, sir. Are you kidding? Wake up. This is definitely the coziest one so far. Oh, his breath. He must have swallowed half a distillery. And that Ew. explains the how. By his sleeping off the alcohol, he means. Wake up, please. Huh. What? The 18 hour 72 train has arrived? Good day to you. We are investigating the disappearance of last night's train, and we should like to ask you a few questions. Were there any passengers who got off that particular train at your station last night? No. Nobody, it seems to me. <laughs> Although I did not leave my office, so... No doubt you were very busy. You don't so say. busy. You can't ever get any peace around here. 
Ah, you have to send a telegram each time a train arrives and departs. <laughs> <laughs> They don't go in order anymore. Like, mm -hmm. kind of bothers me. Oh, sneaky. The station master Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train, but it was barely comprehensible. What? He's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. <laughs> I remember everything quite clearly. I was all excited about a code. I Turns out, no, this man was just drunk. Yeah. It's a bit of a bummer, huh? <laughs> the drinking, bruh. Sir. You were not tired. You were inebriated. Tell me the truth now, or I shall not hesitate to document your state in my report. My friend means that you will end up by being sacked from your position. All nice, right. Watson. Mm -hmm. so I was drunk. gather that. I don't remember all of yesterday, to be truthful to you. Please don't go harsh on me. Holmes, this man has consumed a considerable amount of alcohol. He's not entirely helpless yet, but... It will not be long before he is. Obviously, his testimony cannot be trusted. Yeah, untrustworthy. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's a railway, right? So it's not like it could have gone around the station. But like... Are there different has it could have taken maybe like maybe it never maybe it disappeared before it got there I don't know yeah I'm not sure that might may or not be may or may not be the right conclusion there a telegraph. All right. I mean, I had to check, but <laughs> yes, <laughs> saw that coming. All right. I've been everywhere now. Or no, this is a different station, so there's gonna be. Yeah, this one's like much cozier than the others. Yeah. Turn around this side. He running. I know. <laughs> uh. There is no sense in asking the station master to open it. Oh. We shall have to pick oh. the lock. Okay. We got a rotatey puzzle. It's the same. Yeah, it's not the most thrilling of puzzles. Like, the first time it was fun. Yeah. And now I'm just like, yep. Okay. Floor. Bags were recently dragged here. These bags? French wine. A remarkable vintage. Is he hiding These his bottles food? are too expensive for a station oh, okay. master's wage. They were he's like stealing booze. Ooh. And then he's just throwing the empty bottles in the trash can. <laughs> yeah, he's not very smart. These tools were used quite recently. They are still muddy. We should ask about them. 
I love his line. They're still muddy. <laughs> uh, ooh. Railway post bags. All right. We're going to ask about those. Warehouse. Oh, this one's full. A hand car wheelbase. Fun. Interesting. Hand car. It appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. Watson, please tell me, do you believe in magic? In a young girl, huh? We both heard <laughs> singing it! The train cannot simply disappear. Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar questions? A little patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. So, are you quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Yes, of course. We saw it You coming. saw lights. lights. Yeah. And heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. No, oh, indeed. But, oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. Makes way more sense <laughs> that it never went through there at all. That yeah. it, like, upped off the track. <laughs> Reconstruct the hand car to see if it can imitate the vanished train. Uh, okay, let's go fake a train. Interesting. Okay, so... I feel like there's no way we would know how to do this. Uh, yeah. I should use the appropriate object here. Well, okay, babe. Is there a wheel over there? Because it doesn't look like it. It does not. I should use the appropriate object here. What? <sighs> the brakes don't go on the bottom? I should use the appropriate object here. Hello? They, what? Where else would they go? They have to go somewhere. Can I, I can rotate? Oh, there we go. Oh, sure. When I'm sure, not sure. holding something, I can. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Um, anything else? Oh, blindo. Yeah, that's me. Boop, boop, boop. I should use the appropriate object. What here. goes there though? Oh, I see you. Okay. Help, hello. Why is it so close to me? <laughs> it seems like it fits right there. There we go. <clears throat> so, now here we have the fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look much like a train to me. Be patient, Watson. I haven't finished. <laughs> Shut up, Watson. Try using your <laughs> Our train requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. We just talked about this. <laughs> right, like, you know. Okay, so. Wait, hold on. Do we get on it? Oh, we need a. We need light. to find things to. Okay, and that's what whistle. I thought. Anything else in here? Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, I'll take that. Fire extinguisher. Take that. You never know. You never know. Oh, 
Yes. Good night. Why, thank you. Perfect. And a weasel. Okay. I thought we were going to have to go back to the other stations to do this. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh. I guess do the long pole is now attached. It will allow us to connect the headlight. Mm -hmm. The headlight is attached. The steam whistle is now connected. Holmes, what can we do to make the steam whistle work? It is elementary, my Steam. dear Watson. We shall need a fire extinguisher. Well, a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Let us see what we have here. The steam whistle is ready to be used. Toot. Look at Watson, us. I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. Well, I know about that. The criminal but... mind can be most oh, I inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake, did train, they just like then it was surely with the intention pick this up and run off with it? I don't. Ah, Watson. Right. We like, where did this go? In fact, this does not tell us very much at all, except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Ah, at any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use yeah, where do you archives to find train? a more detailed map of our surroundings. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your And if there's somewhere connected to the tracks the where you could hide a train, it seems like you should just check those places. <laughs> Yeah. Mystery solved. Okay, let's see. Um, okay. Disappeared earlier and was faked by someone using a hand copy. Yes. Okay. I think we've been in every... room in here to get up this yeah oh there he goes all right did we just straight up not meet a person in this story no oh oh what? That would be weird, no? It would be weird. Uh, where sh where should we go? Uh, he said. I mean, there's a quarry here. That seems like somewhere you could hide a train. Um. I guess let's I feel like we should walk along the tracks, but that's not an option. That's like not, exactly that's what I'm saying. Like the ways I would solve this are not really part of the whole thing. We have to solve it in a Sherlock way. Alright, I'm gonna talk to this guy, see if he's got anything to add. The entire train is disappeared. Nope. Alright. In which case Goodbye. Still reading the same book. I mean, I've never tried to read Crimes and Punishments, but. <laughs> I will not move from here until I receive my refund. It's a scandal, an absolute outrage. How close are we, do you think, to solving this? I don't, don't touch know. Anything, please. It's always, you know, it's hard to say. If if we need to be done, we can be done. If you have something to do. I'm thinking about Spin. 
Well, um, uh, it, your turn. Okay. Yeah, that works. Um, so nobody here has anything to add. No signs of activity around this station. At Chesterfield, so maybe we look around another one of the stations. Or let's check uh, here. Search signs backfire. A train over here somewhere. I mean, there wasn't when we looked here the first time. I don't know why they would just suddenly appear to us. I don't really know what we're looking for as far as yeah. what the shovels were used for. Maybe they like dug a new path, or, like dug up the. Oh! <gasps> oh shit! Ooh! Was that there this whole time, and we just didn't? Probably. Cool. Sounds about right. <laughs> Par for the course. Mm -hmm. There was a building here not so long ago. Oh, what? But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? It was disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. It is very odd. What do you got for me? Did it just prompt you to do that? Oh. Um, yes, it came up. Traces. Let's take a closer look. What? Is, what? Like deer hooves or something. I think it's, I think it's like, a horse and cart, but like, what is the? What am I using right now? Oh, I see. Nothing interesting here. Am I measuring them? The distance between the tracks is about six feet seven inches. Okay. Oh no no no. Horse. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. Uh. Okay. All right. Maybe we ask the train master? Mm, let's check in with him. What, what was that shed back there? <laughs> it appears that and there why was is a it small gone? warehouse near your station and <clears throat> that it was disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails uh -huh. and some spare railway that parts. That sounded so Nobody suspicious. Steal all of that. Why would anyone want to? Obviously See to steal later, a train car. Like, why are we here? <laughs> These country folk are just not... Um, 
Yeah, they stole the special wagon. What? Yeah, I don't feel like... Did it prompt you to come look at this? Yeah. But maybe... It was just saying we have a new clue. It wasn't necessarily saying we have stuff that connects. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. So... Yeah, I mean, we, we need to walk in between the stations and see where they built a track for it to go off on. I don't see what's difficult about that. Also, this is like... Search archives. Oh, like a baker? Right. I'm like, can we even do that? I don't think we can even do that. Um, right, like how do we look at the different places? Well, maybe we, um, let's go here. A ghost. It seems like there are different times of day each of these stations. Yeah, it does feel that way. You have quite a number of dirty tools lying around here. Ah, oh, yes. Well, thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. Although, it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. I meant, what were they used for? <laughs> Some workers come here and borrowed them from me. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Oh my god, these people are stupid. <laughs> Who were these Do you want workers? this train to be stolen? Well, they didn't seem oh. to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink. <laughs> they didn't seem <laughs> to be from the company. But I let them move the tracks oh, I anyway. I don't believe so. But see, yeah. they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. Dude, you got played so hard. In... Were they Australian? <laughs> um, do we have new... Um, is there evidence somewhere here outside? I feel like they borrowed the stuff and then Moved the tracks. No. Huh. Unless you go pretty far. Yeah. I don't see anything though. Hmm. Okay.
Okay. Just, no. Just. <laughs> just like the obvious. Just go path. look. I just. <laughs> just go look at the rails. It's a scandal. Where they built a whole new outrage. ass rails. I will not right. move from here until I receive my re. Do you have anything to say? Don't touch anything, please. No. Storage warehouse near Ocean. It's ransacked. It contains spare sections. Prepayments for signing multiple contracts. Okay. The loss of the prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Mr. Robinson thanks to the insurance and multiple fraudulent exclusive contracts. The loss of the machine is a disaster. Um, no. <laughs> it's, yeah. He's guilty <laughs> as hell. Okay, so now can I talk and to he him? He hired the foreign people on the train to do it. Mm -hmm. I will not move from here what? until I receive my refund. You're not getting a refund, pal. Okay, I can't look at his bag anymore. Hmm. Have I'm we talked kid? Go the kid in here? Um, I think I just, I think I just tried to. This oh, guy? Yeah, my bad. Don't touch anything, please. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm wondering if... <sighs> okay, yes. Even though he planned this fraud, he has lost far more than he could gain. Oh, interesting. Like, everything he was doing was fraud, but he didn't steal it. Right. Uh, I don't know if I believe, I don't want to believe that. Definitely not that. We're... They built the tracks. Did they for sure? Can we read those letters again? Which one? The like, the, the sales. Oh. really does say search archives can we like when you press the escape button does it just close out of the whole book yeah mm -hmm. so I was kind of wondering if we could like take this map off and go back to Baker Street I don't think so hmm I just still feel like I'm 
We are missing something. Yeah. And I feel like it's at this station. But I could be wrong. Um, we said we would stop there, though, so let's just call it a night here. Maybe fresh eyes. Yeah. Yeah, next time we'll maybe be able to figure out what we missed. All right. Well, we're going to call it a night there. Um, but thank you so much for hanging out with us. And um, yeah, we should be back next Monday for more of this game. Mm -hmm. And yeah, in the meantime, you can check out our podcast. It's uh, called Senior Detectives on Spotify and Google and Apple. And yeah, we'll see you next yeah, week. We just covered Dark Side. Yeah, we covered Dark Side Detectives, which we played and uh, really enjoyed. So. That's our most recent episode. Um, yeah. All right. Well, um, we'll see you guys next Monday and have a great week. Goodbye. Bye.